here's a story from a distant star about a planet called Zaponia, where the people cried and shook with fear, because the land was gone, the end was near. On an urgent mission to put it right, brave young Zippy, day and night, searched through space, till in view, came a spinning world of green and blue. Welcome to Ziku's Earth Adventure! And this is where it all begins in a world of science and earthling friends. Greetings across the galaxies. A new intergalactic hotel chain gets three thumbs up from Councillor Andrew. And Sally Dash is to host this year's Galaxy Quest Song Search. We interrupt this report for a special transmission from Zalponia. Okay, Zoom, you can come back now. Prime Councillor Z Zandor calling for Controller Zico. Calling Zico. Come in, Zico. Saudi Zandor. Zico? Is there something wrong? It's quite over. Oh, the children's dog. He keeps running away. Well, do you know the reason? Well, I've been to the zoo, and I think that Guaido needs his own special place to sleep. I think he needs to be comfortable in his habitat, like the animals at the zoo. Good thinking, Zeku. I found what I was looking for on the transponder. It's called a kennel. It's a doghouse. I'm going to tell Bongi about it. Mmm, I'm still curious about the zoo, Zeku. I know it's a place where humans keep wild animals. What I want to know is, why? Why? Well, because people can go and see animals from all over the world in one place. It's exciting! Hmm. How long have they been doing this? And what are the other reasons they have zoos? And how do they look after different animals? I need you to find out more, Ziku. Shop! I love going to the zoo. Shop, 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 shop. Zigu, what is shop? It's an earth thing. It means smart or right on. Hey, I wonder if Mbali Bongi would like to come too. Who knows if zoos are smart or good for earth? But they could be good for Zaponia. Zillion, I need your help with some research before I set out on today's mission. Please find out about old zoos, including the one we've been going to. The first zoos were made by very rich people who liked to collect animals for fun. The first public zoo was in Vienna in Europe. It opened in 1752, more than 250 years ago. So that people can see animals from all over the world? That's right. In 1904, about 100 years ago, a rich man called Hermann Eckstein gave a big piece of land to the people of Johannesburg. This became Zoo Lake and the Johannesburg Zoo. At first, there were very few animals in the zoo. Just a lion, a leopard, a baboon, and two porcupines. Back then, animals were kept in small cages. Over the years, more and more animals were brought and donated. The cages changed so that the animals had more space and could live in a more natural habitat. Today, there are about 2,000 animals in the Johannesburg Zoo, and it has to look after the special needs of each of them. Zillion, as always, it's been a pleasure, but I've got a dash. So many animals in so little time. I still need to see Bongi. Ish, life on Earth is so hectic, Joe. Joe? My name's not Joe. What part of Zillion don't you understand? Zola, Bongi. Hola, Ziku. Glad to see you found Kwaito. Oh, but I'm in trouble. Yesterday I left the gates open. Oh, dear. And the man next door says if Kwaito keeps barking, I really need to give him away. Maybe he's not happy with his habitat. Have you ever thought of making him a kennel so he has somewhere to sleep? No. Maybe that's why he's running away. How do you make a kennel? Well, I've been doing a little bit of research with Zillion, and I thought we could get some first-hand experience at the zoo on how to make a habitat for Kwaito. OK, sure. This might take a little. <laughs> Welcome 
to the Joe Big Zoo. Wow, cool! Let's do this again sometime. You seem to be in a cage. And you're out there looking at me? You're standing inside the first lion cage at the zoo. It's more like a prison. Yes, the cage is made from stone and metal. There was very little space for the poor lion to move around. From here, one could see the lion's clothes, except for these bars getting in the way. But there's nowhere to hide here. I bet it's nothing like its natural habitat. In the wild, lions like to live in open grasslands with rocks and a source of water. Lions prefer a warm climate. They like to spend a lot of time sleeping under a tree. That's very different to these old lion cages. You're right. The lions had to adapt to this new life. I don't think I could adapt to a cage like this. But over time, the zoo got better at looking after the lions. Welcome to the zoo's Ango Gold Lion Enclosure. It was built recently and is still quite new. Zowie! You can say that again. It's one of the best of its kind on Earth. Zowie! This is a very different lion cage. In fact, they don't call it a cage anymore. It's called an enclosure now. See how much more space there is for the lions. The enclosure is a copy of the lion's natural habitat. It's not a square box at all anymore. That's because nature doesn't come in square boxes. There's so many different places the people can see them from. And now people can get a better idea of how lions act in the wild. It's open so the sun can shine in. A lion loves the sun. A lion also loves to sleep. Here they can sleep in the sun or shade and move about more freely. There are all kinds of different spaces for the lions to explore. They can choose where they want to be. They didn't have so many choices in the old cages. Now they can be alone or in a group. They can hide away if they like it. The zoo tries to stimulate the lions to act like they would in the wild. Lions have a very good sense of smell, so they put wood shavings and other scents in the enclosure. The grass and plants make it easier to keep the lion's space clean. Look, is that their food? No, that's just dried carcasses that are put out for the lions to chew and tear apart. It's more like a snack than a meal. Lions like to chew for a long time on a big bone. The zoo puts the bones in different places so that things are always changing in the enclosure. It's better to look through glass than have bars in the way. It also keeps people's litter out. The zoo no longer needs a sign that says, don't feed the lions. You can still watch the lions close up in the night rooms. There's so much space you could have lots of groups of lions there. That wouldn't work out. There are more groups in the zoo, but they can't be in one enclosure together. Serious? Why? Because two male lions don't like to be in one place. They'll fight to show who's boss. Who's the king of the jungle? Speaking of jungles, see if you can find the old primate cages. Sure, Baba. I love it when you do this. Primates are apes. In their natural habitat, they like to move around a lot and spend a good bit of time in the trees. They are intelligent with good memories. Like the orangutans. That's right. Orangutans are primates. What is this place? It's the old primate cages. The apes used to live here? Aha. Uh -huh. Poor apes. Around about the same time that the lion was living in its box of a cage, so the apes also had very small spaces that looked nothing like their natural habitat. So the alley ape cages were like a row of small rooms? Each one of them contained a different ape, so people could walk along and see them all side by side. So they could not see each other? Oh look, a crazy old monkey! <laughs> very funny, boy. It's not nice at all here. The cages are square and the bars are like the old lion's cage. The floors are very smooth and they are flat. Very different to the ape's natural habitat in the wild, where apes live mainly in trees and on the rough ground. Obviously, they cared more about the people seeing the apes than the apes being happy in their houses. The apes had to adapt to living like this. It's time to get out of here. Let's go to the new ape enclosure. Wow! 
Look, there's so much space here. Much better than the old cages. Chimps are very active, so they need lots of space. So this is more like their natural habitat? Yes. In the wild, they like sun and shade. High and low. Rocks and grass. Hidden and exposed. And of course, there must be ruddy water. And nice big trees for them to climb. They have so many choices here. They can choose where they want to be and what they feel like doing. Unlike in the cages. Look at them climbing. What's that one doing? Chimps use tools to dig for their food. So the zoo hides their food. It's stimulating for the apes. I bet it makes them feel like they're living in the wild. And look how well we can see them. The grass and plants make it more hygienic, right? Like the lions. Quite right. I wish I was a chimp. Time to go home, boy. Need to report what we've seen today. Do we really, really need to go? I'm afraid so. Oh. Hey, here we are, boy. What's that noise Quato is making again? It's called barking. He always barks when he wants to keep us protected or when he's frustrated. I've locked him in the back room because he keeps running away. Maybe the barking is his way of telling you something. Do you know what that makes me think of? Yeah, the old lion in the ape cages. I know. Maybe you can explore what kind of habitat to make for him, now that you've seen what they've done at the zoo. I'm going to. I know that animals have special needs. I'm going to ask Mali and Pa to help. Good for you. I'll catch up later. Thank you, Sissy. It was fun having you around. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank the zoo. Thank you, zoo. Bye. Bye. It's so much to tell Zandal, like how different animals have different characteristics. And how they adapt to their habitat. And how they live in different places. And about how the zoo keeps making better and better homes for them. Okay, you can tell Zandal that I'm ready to report. Everything, Zandal. Now we know how the zoo looks after each animal's special needs. Ah, and what happened to Bongi's dog? Quite was much happier. Bongi's dad built him a kennel to sleep in and shelter from the rain. Bongi gives him lots of water and feeds him very well. Now Quite was stopped running away and barking all night. It's amazing what a trip to the zoo can do, yeah? Well done, Ziku and Zilion. Again, you've done Zaponia proud. Perhaps you can tame the droids and place them in a galactic zoo, yeah? For observation. It's a very good idea. Very good. Over and out. Zawi, mission accomplished. Zazun, Zillion. Good night, good earth. Good luck, brave Zarponia.